Hello, hello, it's Fekko Kovacin here with some Easter decorations this time. I'm using some wooden spools, rosettes and little painted plastic eggs to make these. Let's get started. First I made the rosettes. I used the paper I created while doing the Easter card earlier this month and cut that into strips using a Thinlitz die set. I was wondering between using solid color paper for the rosettes and patterned ones and then opted out for this self-made version. Now I'm inking the elements a little bit and then constructing the rosettes. For that I'm using hot glue because I need a fast drying adhesive to get those papers really well the dimensional form needs the fast drying adhesive. I'm putting some glue down to a dot of cardstock, then push the rochette shape on top and then layer another round piece on top to kind of well hide the seam. I just need a little bit of drying time or cooling time to get the rosettes working. On top I then add a piece of patterned paper. When I've then done the rosettes I'm turning my attention to the wooden spools and I'm constructing the base of the decoration. In a later stage it would be handy to paint the spools first and then construct them but well I had the hot glue gun heated and ready so I went along with that. So I'm just adding a couple of spools together to make base and then I'm also gluing the wooden skewer to a plastic egg to get that kind of a raised effect to the little egg. For that I'm also using the hot glue. When I then had the elements glued, I then painted them using paper artsy fresco finish acrylic paints. I chose this kind of a pastel palette for this make and added some baby blue, red and yellow for the make. While comparing the rosettes to the bases of the project, I realized that two of them were too shallow or too flat, so I needed to add another spool for those. So I just painted one and added it there using the hot glue. Then I'm building everything together and well, using a hot glue again this time. I cut the little skewers shorter so well, it would be more balanced. Next I'm then using a brown ink to treat the little decorations to make them look further grungier and a little bit like worn or vintage tone so they're not that bright anymore. I then add some baker's twine to the spools, another little detail. For that I'm also using hot glue. <laughs> it seems to be the adhesive for this make. Next it's then construction time. Now I have the bases done and the little eggs in place, so it's time to add the rosettes. I'm adding a little bit of sizzle underneath the rosette to give it a more textured look and then using the hot glue again <laughs> to put the rosette on top. I'm also adding some sizzle to the top of the spools. The decorations still need some details, so I use distress inks to color this ribbon into the pale pastel shades mimicking those of the acrylic paints. Press the ink pad to my craft table, add a little bit of water and then run the ribbon through the pool to get it colored. I then use a heat tool to dry the ribbon. I then use each ribbon to tie a little bow to each decoration. I'm thinking first matching the colors with the egg but then decide against it and just add them randomly. A tip for a good bow is to tie it the other way around or turn 180 degrees because this then causes the two kind of loose ends to fall out nicer than 
the other way around. As a finishing touch, I then add some word stickers to each one. The stickers are actually from a Christmas set, but I picked the ones that would go nicely to Easter theme as well. And there you have it. A set of three Easter decorations to be added on the dining table or to be used as home decor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Usually there's another video within a week, but this time it's Easter Friday, so I'll skip one Friday and we'll, we'll be back. Well, I'll be back and hopefully you will too in April. See you then. Bye.